Welcome back to Houston Life. Here on the show, we love shining the spotlight on local kids doing some pretty incredible things. And our next guest will soon be in the national spotlight. So great. Reva Jogden is a student at Austin High School in Fort Bend ISD. She's a Naval Junior ROTC cadet and was just selected to attend the elite 2023 commander of Naval Air Force's Flight Academy this summer. It is a wow. huge <laughs> honor. She is one of only 26 students picked for more than 500 applicants nationwide. Reva joins us now on Houston Life. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. Tell us your reaction to this news because I know it was a very competitive application process. You have to have a very high GPA, go through a background check. How did you respond when you heard the news? So when I heard the news, I was actually in my car driving and I came home and I checked my phone. There was an email saying, congratulations, you won a scholarship. And I was like, oh my God, really? And uh, yeah, it was a great opportunity for me, and I was very surprised because I want to continue pursuing my uh, education in aviation. Well, I mean, we know you're a hardworking student. You're a hardworking cadet. What's the selection process like for something like this? What kind of things did you have to go through? The high GPA was up there. Okay, so for the selection process, I had to, uh, I had to submit my GPA, my high school transcripts. There was a 600 word essay that I had to write. I wrote it with my instructor, Senior Chief Johnson. Um, there was also some short answer questions about the, my leadership roles throughout middle school and high school. So the leadership roles matter a lot in the uh, criteria that they judge for, with. And being selected for this, uh, Riva, tell us just a little bit about how this will help prepare you for, uh, for your career. Because I know, again, you're still in high school, but you have your sights set on things far beyond high school. Yeah. So um, this scholarship, it, it was only given to 26 people throughout the nation. So it's a big opportunity for me to stand out amongst all my peers that, um, and like the, I'm just reading about some of the things that you've, you've been working on. I'm looking that math is something that you're pretty great at. You have to be involved in a lot of math and really yes. good with numbers. Yes. It's definitely not anything that I was good at in high school, that's for sure. What, what other things do you, do you study a lot of aside from math? So uh, for the AQT, the aviation qualifying test that we had to take for the application, there was a lot of like graph and chart reading in there. There was also uh, a lot of math problems that it was like algebra based. So you have to know a lot about that to actually uh, study for the FAA exam to get your pilot license. So it, it ultimately, is that the goal for you to have a career in aviation? Yes. So after high school, I want to go on to the Naval Academy and be a fighter pilot and go through that process and hopefully become a pilot. What was some of the physical training that you had to do for some of this the actual getting to be in the pilot seat, right? Yes. Yeah. So uh, I had to I had to do some physical training, like push-ups, sit-ups. There was actually some stuff we had to submit for that. And in ROTC in general, there's a lot of physical training involved. And Reva, we're out of time, but before we go, do you have any uh, messages for young people out there who see you and want to reach for their reach for their dreams. Yes, so this scholarship, uh, I really want to, it's like an accomplishment for me, my school, my instructors, and everyone that's uh, helped me throughout my school career. And I wanna inspire the young people that want to maybe become aviators or just inspire young people in general. Wonderful, so congratulations, Reva. Thank you again. Thank you so much. Bye.